what's going on YouTube, Effect Records here. Today, I'm bringing you a video of my new car, new project for the channel. Um, so this is a 2005 Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 8. Um, just picked it up up in uh, South Dakota, actually. About a nine hour drive from there to here. And I just wanted to showcase it before anything gets too crazy. So I have the bumper and everything. I got rims, pilot parts. So this did not come with an engine, but it did come with the transmission and uh, transfer case. Um, but I have the engine from my project, so I kept that. I uh, kept a lot of the things because I am swapping things out. Surprisingly, the body is not that rusted, but uh, like the struts right there, they came out, like those came off the car. And uh, so hella rust, but like the ones I want to replace, um, they came off the project, no rust. So I'm gonna replace those. Same thing to the brakes and the hubs and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and swap those out and then sell the other parts as is. Um, but for like the body wise, it's not really rusty, but under like hidden is a lot more rust than I anticipated. So right now um, I'm having an issue with every single bolt that I take off, breaks the head off. So you see right there, um, head, uh, head uh, there's a broken broken off bolt there just there's two right here like these are so badly rusted which is hard to believe by how clean the body is like well, you don't even know like even underneath the car isn't that bad like the subframe and everything and the floors look great but like these these uh, bolts are just terrible um, so right now the plan is to take um, a vice grip and kind of wiggle it back and forth to break the back end of the nut off which looks kind of like this um, and then we're going to spot weld this on the back side um, so that I can put a bolt through there without drilling and tapping all of them because there's probably at least 10 that I got to do and ain't nobody about that life uh, but right now I'm, the main thing that I'm doing is I'm trying to fix and repair the rust it's all over the place so i'm gonna take this completely off and uh fit, clean, clean it up and then paint it black uh, all of these was like rust spots they see me ground down uh, so like everywhere you see this which i was using this to do it's that works out pretty good little thing here uh, if i can <laughs> that works really good for the rust um the number of of it uh, I don't know if you can see, not I really need a flashlight. I say this almost every time, like every video. But right there was a whole bunch of rust. Um, but it wasn't, it was just like surface rust though. It wasn't caked through. Like I caught it pretty much good, right on time. Um, and then trying to remove all this rust that's all around here. Still got some, some to do obviously. Um, but I'm just showing it right now. I would have um, had a better video of me actually performing the rust job. But for some reason I can't find my tripod. It's been a while since I've seen it. And I've paid no attention until I wanted to make this video uh, but so I might be looking for getting a new tripod I technically ordered one that I just gotta wait to come in but that's like a a different tripod for different uses but that'll have to work for now um, and then same thing for here I'm trying to clean up all the rust and then I'm gonna paint it uh, I'm not sure what uh, undercoating I'm gonna go with yet so I'm still debating of that but the exterior I already got the paint for or uh, technically it's gonna be the interior engine bay uh, but I got this stuff right here apex silver I gave them the part number they mixed up the paint for me that I can do there and the only thing I really see on the body for the most part is right here um, so there's like rust bleeding through, but it's not that bad. Like from what I've been finding in the engine bay is like tells two different stories to where this car has been, which is ridiculous in my opinion. Go around the back. So this is what I got rid of the other car for. And the interior is super clean, uh, leather interior. It's an SSL model, um, sunroof. With the front like I said the only thing it really was needing was an engine which I already had so I was like okay sweet um, 
but I mean the interior looks great great shape so yeah I got this just gonna work on the rust right now and get the engine in it and get it drivable but yeah that's basically this video if you like this video please comment rate and subscribe for more awesome Evo 8 content because once my tripod comes in which it should come in either today or tomorrow I think it's said Wednesday and then I'm gonna do a lot of showcasing on me working on it and stuff like that so yeah catch you on the next one all right peace